Aha! Tutorial number fuck knows. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this stuff. So in Half Life 2, you see these seagulls, don't you? Or seagulls, pigeons, crows. And they just fly around on a nice little path, continuously going around, being all seagully, and just flying. But yeah, pretty cool. So um, they can really add atmosphere to your map and make it look quite nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make one of these. Okay, so here we are in the hammer editor, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this crow here, fly up here, turn around, come back, and drop dead in front of the player. So, open up the properties of your crow. Uh, by the way, he's NPC underscore crow, in case anybody didn't know the uh, NC name for it. And uh, give him a name of crow underscore one. Apply that, and then find the field which says target path corner, and name that to path underscore, ah, just call it path underscore crow. Okay. And then in flags, make sure the foreground is checked. Okay, now make a ah, it's already there. Path underscore corner entity. Place it there, and place it where you want your crow to first fly to. So I'm just going to have mine above him and a little bit in front of him. Now what you do, you Alt and Enter over that properties. Why the fuck's it over there? And name it what you put on the crow. So that's path underscore crow. Apply that, and now these have a nice little fucking t um feature here, if you get the select tool and you make sure it's selected, hold shift and drag it out and there and it will create the uh, next stop path field in there, so let's call it path and it's called crow1 for me and on this one it's named it path and it's called crow1 and if you drag with the selection tool from here like so it'll do it again for you. So it will set the stop type on that one to path underscore crow 2 and the name of this one to path underscore crow 2. So what you do, you just drag that one down there as well in front of the player. Now you can make them more elaborate by making them a lot smoother and stuff, but this is just a purpose of the tutorial. You can make them curve with about 5 at a corner or whatever you want to do. But um, on this last one, you're going to go into here and um, no, you're not sorry. That's wrong. <sighs> Forgot the most important thing. You're going to create a logic underscore auto, and just place one of those down near your crow, so it's nice and tidy. Behind him. Press Alt and Enter. Uh, go to Outputs. Do Add, and do On Map Spawn, and target crow underscore one, and do Fly Away. And um, you can give it a delay of about five seconds, it's not really important, and apply that. And now the crow will spawn, fly up there, go there, go there, go there. And I think in the crow you can set it to die at one of them, I can't remember where it was. Really can't. A crow or. It's impossible to find. I did have it the other day. Um, might have been a logic auto. I really can't remember. Shit. Ah, uh, here we go. It's going to be in here. Uh, do output and then do um, on pass crow one, and then look for the kill. Sorry, I um, had to get my bearings, but there. So that means the crow on the map spawn is going to fly up to the first point, then to the second, then to the third. When it reaches this one here, it will drop dead technically. So, uh, another little thing I want to show you is this tool up here. It's called uh, the cordon tool. Now if you toggle that, you should get this box up here. Obviously it's not going to be as neat as mine on your um, computer, because I've aligned mine everything up to my skybox, or to be a skybox for me. And basically what it does is if you want to test parts of your map without, de without compiling the whole thing. So, it's, it basically acts like um, a hollow skybox brush. But, um, so you can drag it like that, and then if you compile, your skybox will be where it is. So, but, um, I'm just going to keep it there like that. That's tidy. So I'm going to go in game and uh, test this, and I should see you in about, well, literally a second.
Okay, so here we are in game, and I'm just going to type in map Lalouette Seagull into the console. And here's a map. Now the crow should fly up, go up there, make a really sharp turn. Uh, still quite smooth. And come back in front of the player and technically drop dead in front of us. Oh shit. Kill, I forgot kill, removes the whole thing from the map. <laughs> Whoops. Um, you can play about with the outputs on that. I forgot kill, removed the whole thing from the map. Um, but yeah, I'll put the correct one in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.